HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Hello and welcome to HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to fill you in with what's happening in town. On this edition of HCAM News, we have scenes from the annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day festivities, the latest in Hiller Sports, and Matt Clark will get you caught up with upcoming programming with our HCAM Insider. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. After 12 years of service to the Hopkinton Public Library, Youth Services Librarian Denise Coffrin will be retiring at the end of the month. There was recently a celebration to honor her wonderful career. Oh, well, it's been the best 12 years. Um, I have a fabulous, fabulous support staff here. Everybody has been wonderful, and I will miss them terribly. They, they, I have, uh, in the children's room, I have um, Donna, and Nancy and Carol and Nia and the, I couldn't run the place without them. I really couldn't. All right, and um, what's it like to have everybody here today uh, just kind of celebrate your um, excellent career? Oh, well, it's, it's, it's humbling. I'm, I'm delighted to see some of the people who've come in so far and um, it just warms my heart. Um, one of the best things about working here is having so many children come in and, and touching them and helping them, guiding them in their reading and having them come back for more. That's the best. All right, terrific. Um, and uh, so what's your uh, retirement plans? Any fun vacations coming up? Well, I have, I'm going to Florida in March and I have a, a fall vacation planned. And um, But I'd like to do some volunteering and probably help the friends here and um, Maybe take some courses. Uh, there's this lifelong learning program that um, has a lot of wonderful courses, and I think that sounds like a fun thing to do because no homework and papers. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations on a wonderful career. Thank you so much. At the Board of Selectmen meeting this past week, Lycan Bioscience LLC updated the selectmen on their interest in moving to Hopkinton. Uh, my name is Lynn Tokarczyk. I'm Government Incentives Consultant representing Lycan Bioscience. I'm here with Tony Rattuno, CEO of Lycan Bioscience, and David Dartell, um, right in back of me, CFO uh, of Lycan Bioscience. Uh, Lycan Bioscience is an emerging manufacturer of cell and gene therapies, very new uh, generation of uh, therapeutics. Uh, so new that there's only four approved currently, uh, but gaining a lot of traction, and it's, it's the next generation of uh, therapeutics uh, over and above beyond what we've seen before from biologics. Company plans to lead the way in manufacturing clinical products out of the Hopkinton site uh, for immunotherapies of cancer and other uh, illnesses. I will say that our, our sole focus right now is oncology. Uh, that's where the greatest need is. Uh, that's where we see the greatest need. So that's that's where we'll focus. So nothing uh, extreme or no, and even even the vaccines, whatever we use, whatever uh, we need to do, uh, whatever antigens we're using, will not be uh, put nothing above a BL2 for sure. It'll likely all BL1. Uh, all of our waste, because again, it's compact, will all be carted away. The board also unanimously approved a trail coordination management committee. The TCMC, what's that? Trails Coordination and Management Committee shall consist of seven members who are Hoppington residents and appointed by the Board of Selectmen. Initial members shall be appointed to one, two, and three year terms to achieve staggered terms, and all members appointed thereafter will serve three year terms. No member may serve more than three consecutive terms. This past Monday, the Hopkinton Youth Commission hosted the annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day festivities 
Here's a look. The annual Martin Luther King Junior Day events took place at Hopkinton Middle School this past Monday. Despite very cold weather, many volunteers attended to help Hopkinton organizations and various other great causes. So we have National Honor Society who's doing collection and coloring books for the Respite Center. Um, we have bags for veterans being made. We have cancer bags being made for cancer patients. We are collecting for Marathon School hat mitten snow pants. Hopkins School, we are collecting zip binders. Um, what other service project? We have um, color a placemat that will go to the surrounding assisted living homes. Um, and so they will get those served with their meals and uh, some with uh, meals for whales as well. So lots of different kinds of variety of things going on. We have some church groups here as well that are participating. I know one is collecting sneakers for Project Just Because. Um, I think the other one is doing the cancer bags. And despite the very cold weather outside, a great turnout today. Uh, could you just talk about the turnout and how things have gone so far? Yeah, so it's going amazing so far. Um, I am very excited to see the turnout because I did have some <laughs> concerns about the weather but you can't take Hopkinton down so we have uh, so many students that are here helping today we're starting to see a lot of community come in and get involved um, they, everyone enjoyed the storyteller she delayed a little bit for us this morning to allow the community to get in so it's been a great morning so far well, we're making like Valentine's Day cards for like the veterans in Hopkinton that are like yeah, yeah. Uh, veterans that are overseas and we're gonna send them Valentine's Day cards so yeah. that they won't be that lonely during this Valentine's Day season and just bring a little bit of joy into their world so yeah. Very nice. And are you all in the uh, Girl Scouts? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what troop are you from? Um, we're Girl Scout Troop 65040. collecting sneakers for Project Just Because, and if anyone comes in, they can um, either bring sneakers or they can donate money and we would purchase the sneakers. Terrific, and um, for those that don't know, could you maybe talk a little bit about what Project Just Because is? Project Just Because is a uh, place in Hopkinton that um, helps people that either have a tragedy happen, like for a fire or something like that, or they help the less fortunate, they get blankets and sneakers and toys at Christmas time for the kids. And uh, one year they collected coats for everyone so that they wouldn't have, wouldn't have to freeze when we had a bad winter. Here we have a bunch of cards, and um, you can either write them to friends or writing them to family. But we also had them for teachers, so you can write a nice thing about one of your favorite teachers. And we, and we also have these posters with a bunch of nice quotes, and you can take uh, people can take one and another poster about what we learned along our journey. So we chose the Amaze journey. It's all about um, friendship, what makes a good friendship, and what determines if your friendship isn't strong. And yeah, so it's been very fun to plan out. Terrific, and um, who goes got trip you will from? Six, eight, two, four, three. <laughs> Hi, we're a community <laughs> service club from the Hopkins and High School, and we're writing letters to kids in hospitals. So we put out some guidelines for people, but basically the letters just say encouraging messages, trying not to focus on their illness, just more positive thoughts, um, and just sending good messages to them. What else is on the dudes? Um, I'm a senior at Hoppington High School, um, and I'm in the National Honor Society here. Terrific. And what do you got going on over here at this table? So today, um, for MLK Day, is one of our big volunteering events. Uh, we've collected lots of donations, um, whether it's toiletries or other supplies for the respite center here in town. Um, and then with all the volunteers that have shown up today, uh, we've made coloring books um, and cards for um, kids and adults at Milford Regional Hospital. So right now, we're working on some cards 
Uh, we're drawing pictures in them and uh, just wishing them a happy day. <laughs> Today we are painting the rooms. And, and apparently we love painting these rooms because we get to enchant our creativity. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> Terrific. And um, what made you want to paint the rooms today? Because this room is like kind of like a jail room. So some people wanted to keep it as a very pretty place, like butterflies and quotes. So I helped paint some of these. And some people, some people did the you are enough, and some of, some people. This is the second layer of be a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet in the inside. <laughs> Um, bags and cards for um, patients with cancer to sort of get brighten their day a little bit. Terrific. And are, are you a volunteer or are you with the organization? I'm just a volunteer, just somebody who came to the event and wanted to just do something to give back to the community. And we have some uh, other things, I guess. Chapstick. Yeah, some chapstick and stuff and lotion. And then we have socks and the thing, and the big thing. Daddy um, coloring placemats for the senior center and I believe the respite center. So these are placemats we'll send on and they put their name and their age on it and just do a nice cheerful color. Yeah, so we're making these stress-free bottles that you just turn upside down like this and you can put whatever you want in it and that's pretty much it. Alright, just a nice activity for the kids? Yeah, just a nice activity for the kids. They're having fun putting the glitter in these and everything. And are you a volunteer here today? Or? Yeah, I'm a volunteer with the Hockey Team Youth Commission, which like runs the whole event, so yeah. Storyteller Valerie Tutson presented MLK's legacy of service, unity, and peace. Da kuona, you use two hands. Da kuona, there you go. Da kuona, again. Inspirational speaker and dancer DJ Fides spoke and showed off some dance moves. Woo! Here we go. Former Buddhist monk Seth Monk hosted Returning to Peace, a mindfulness workshop. And everybody, you're going to listen. Hold on a sec. You're going to listen to the sound of the gong. You're going to close your eyes. And you're just going to listen to the sound. OK, so everyone close your eyes. Yeah. And just hit. The event concluded with a basketball game between the Special Olympics and freshman boys basketball team. It was once again another great well-attended Martin Luther King Junior Day event at Hopkinton Middle School. Still to come on HCAM News, the latest in Hiller sports, and Matt Clark gets you up to date with the latest HCAM programming with our HCAM Insider. A whole lot ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. So when we first decided to go ahead with the fostering, um, we spoke at length to one of the behavioural specialists to essentially find a dog that would fit in with our lifestyle and that we could truly help. He needs to be in a home where he can just have some love and some confidence installed in him. The first time that Arnold, like I say, pricked his ears and actually came to us and wagged his tail um, was incredible. It really melted my heart to think that he had become that comfortable with us and, you know, opened his heart up to us. Like fostering a dog doesn't mean that you have to give up all of your life commitments. It is something yeah. that can fit around your schedule. I knew it would be 
incredible to foster a dog and to see them go home for the first time. But actually knowing how much help that you are giving these dogs has been, it has been life changing. Please visit baypathhumane.org to join our foster family. Welcome back to HCAM News. The high school winter sports season is more than halfway through and a number of Hiller teams are eyeing a playoff spot. Here's the latest in Hiller sports. On Saturday, January 19th, Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey took on Holliston. The game was a defensive struggle for both sides with some great goaltender play. The Hillers got over 50 shots on net, but Holliston goalie Nico Quattromoni kept the Hillers at bay, making save after save. The Hillers would prove to be too much to handle for Holliston, however. In the second period with 135 left, the Hillers broke through. There's Gilbert with a shot out in front, and there's a goal! Picked that, plucked it off of Hamlet and went in. That's what they needed. Initial shot by Gilbert, and Hamlet, I believe, was able to poke it in. I think you're right, I think Hamlet did get a piece. Tommy Hamlet's goal ended up being the game winner for the Hillers as they took the one to nothing victory and improved to eight wins, two losses, and two ties on the season. On Wednesday, January 23rd, the Hillers hockey team hosted Norton. 30 seconds into the first period, Tommy Hamlet continued where he left off against Holliston. 18 points overall, eight wins, two losses, two ties. There's Sean Walsh out in front, Hamlet goal! Just like that, the Hillers up one nothing. 30 seconds into action. Norton responded with 11.51 left in the period and no goals for either side throughout the remainder. It wasn't 1-1 for long into the second period, however, because Tommy Hamlet came through again. Hamlet leaves it for Gilbert. Flip it up to the near side corner. Simos out in front and there's a goal! Tommy Hamlet with his second goal of the night. It remained 2-1 heading into the third and the Hillers would open it up in the final frame. Break, it's one on one, Walsh up against McCarthy. Around McCarthy he goes, a shot! And it is a goal for the Hillers. John Walsh was able to put it in through the five hole and make it three to one Hopkinton. Along the far side, pass over, there's a flip and a goal, Steve Simos with the backhander flips it in past the reach of director and it's four to one Hillers. That goal comes with 7.17 left as the Hillers start to pour it on. Still there. Dan Kirk and Kyle Rogers working up the far side. Here comes Rogers closing in, and there's a goal! Kyle Rogers with a beauty of a wrister puts it in 5-1 Hillers. Hopkinton takes down Norton 5-1 with the win. The Hillers improved to nine wins, two losses, and two ties, which is 20 points on the season and 20 points means Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey is officially in the playoffs. Throughout the remaining several games this season, the Hillers will be fighting for home ice advantage in the postseason. On Tuesday, January 22nd, the Hillers boys basketball team took on Medway. Hopkinton won four of their last five coming into the game and continued their momentum. In the first half, the Hillers took advantage of Medway's struggles from the field. Tommy Ambersoni was the star of the first half, racking up 13 points for the Hillers. He scored 13 out of the 29 total points for Hopkinton. The Hillers outscored Medway 11-8 in the first quarter and 18-12 in the second to head into the halftime locker room with the 29-20 lead. The third quarter was a defensive struggle for both sides. Medway outscored Hopkinton 9-8. Hillers led 37-29 heading into the fourth. In the fourth quarter, the Hillers took advantage of Medway's foul troubles. The Hillers struck 6-4-9 from the charity stripe. Elon Rosen added a pair of field goals as the Hillers outscored Medway 15-12 and took the game by a final of 52-41. The Hillers boys are now 7-4 and four on the season and three wins away from clinching a playoff spot. Medway fell to 7-3 and three overall. 
Let's take a look at the other Hiller Winter Sports teams. Girls basketball is 4-7 and seven overall on the season. Boys and girls indoor track both undefeated at 4-0. and oh. Boys swimming is 8-2. and two. Girls swimming 8-1. and one. And girls hockey, three wins and six losses on the season. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark and here's what's happening this week on HCAM. On Friday, January 25th at 5 p.m., local artists and musicians gather to share their music and poetry in a special open mic episode of Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. And at 9 p.m., Shara Peralt talks with Davika Sridharan about how she melds dance and storytelling on a new episode of Meet Your Neighbor. On Monday, January 28th at 7.30 p.m., the Hopkinton Planning Board meeting will air live on HCAM TV. On Tuesday, January 29th at 5 p.m., the Hillers girls basketball team takes on the Ashland Clockers, followed by the boys basketball team versus Ashland at 6.30 p.m., live on HCAM Ed. And at 6 p.m., the Hopkinton Board of Selectmen's meeting will air live on HCAM TV. And on Friday, February 1st at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls basketball team takes on the Westwood Wolverines, live on HCAM Ed. And also on HCAM Ed, the Hillers ice hockey versus Holliston game will air. If you want to know more about all of HCAM shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv connect where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton Community Calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care. On Saturday, January 19th, Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey took on Holliston. The game was a defensive struggle for both sides with some great goaltender play. The Hillers got over 50 shots on net, but Holliston goalie Nico Quattromoni kept the Hillers at bay, making save after save. The Hillers would prove to be too much to handle for Holliston, however. In the second period with 135 left, the Hillers broke through. There's Gilbert with a shot out in front. There's a goal! Picked that deflected off of Hamlet and went in. That's what they needed. Initial shot by Gilbert. The Hamlet, I believe, was able to poke it in. I think you're right. I think Hamlet did get a piece. Tommy Hamlet's goal ended up being the game winner for the Hillers as they took the one to nothing victory and improved to eight wins, two losses, and two ties on the season. On Wednesday, January 23rd, the Hillers hockey team hosted Norton. 30 seconds into the first period, Tommy Hamblett continued where he left off against Holliston. 18 points overall, eight wins, two losses, two ties. There's Sean Walsh out in front, Hamblett goal! Just like that, the Hillers up 1-0. 30 seconds into action. Norton responded with 11.51 left in the period and no goals for either side throughout the remainder. It wasn't 1-1 for long into the second period, however, because Tommy Hamlet came through again. Hamlet leaves it for Gilbert. 
flip it up to the near side corner. Simos out in front, and there's a goal! Tommy Hamlet with his second goal of the night. It remained 2-1 to one heading into the third, and the Hillers would open it up in the final frame. Break, it's one-on-one, -on -one. Walsh up against McCarthy. Around McCarthy, he goes, a shot! And it is a goal for the Hillers. John Walsh was able to put it in through the five hole and make it three to one Hopkinton. Along the far side, pass over, there's a flip and a goal, Steve Simos with the backhander flips it in past the reach of director and it's four to one Hillers. That goal comes with 7.17 left as the Hillers start to pour it on. Still there. Dan Kirk and Kyle Rogers working up the far side. Here comes Rogers closing in, and there's a goal! Kyle Rogers with a beauty of a wrister puts it in 5-1 Hillers. Hopkinton takes down Norton 5-1 with the win. The Hillers improved to nine wins, two losses, and two ties, which is 20 points on the season. And 20 points means Hopkinton Hillers boys hockey is officially in the playoffs. Throughout the remaining several games this season, the Hillers will be fighting for home ice advantage in the postseason. On Tuesday, January 22nd, the Hillers boys basketball team took on Medway. Hopkinton won four of their last five coming into the game and continued their momentum. In the first half, the Hillers took advantage of Medway's struggles from the field. Tommy Ambersoni was the star of the first half, racking up 13 points for the Hillers. He scored 13 out of the 29 total points for Hopkinton. The Hillers outscored Medway 11-8 in the first quarter and 18-12 in the second to head into the halftime locker room with the 29-20 lead. The third quarter was a defensive struggle for both sides. Medway outscored Hopkinton 9-8. Hillers led 37-29 heading into the fourth. In the fourth quarter, the Hillers took advantage of Medway's foul troubles. The Hillers struck 6-4-9 from the charity stripe. Elon Rosen added a pair of field goals as the Hillers outscored Medway 15-12 and took the game by a final of 52-41. The Hillers boys are now 7-4 and four on the season and three wins away from clinching a playoff spot. Medway fell to 7-3 and three overall. Let's take a look at the other Hiller winter sports teams. Girls basketball is 4-7 and seven overall on the season. Boys and girls indoor track both undefeated at 4-0. and oh. Boys swimming is 8-2. and two. Girls swimming 8-1. and one. And girls hockey three wins and six losses on the season.